more round. Are uh, we gonna wait for a consult with the doctor? You're gonna consult first. Ask Casper what he thinks and then we can do what Okay. Casper! Um <laughs> Wow. Um, the build up to the fight um, I mean the, there was all this uh, stuff that was in this fight now how, how did that motivate you coming into this fight you know what uh, uh, I was having fun man you know and uh, first of all I'd like to say I respect this guy he's got balls you know not everybody can get in the ring you know what I mean so, big, big, big respect for to Slick Talk for getting in the ring. I know so many celebrities that ran away that I called them out and they ran away. So, big shout out to Slick Talk for taking the fight within three weeks. And I respect him for that. You know, I knew I was going to hurt him. I think, yeah, I already knew. It was unfair from the onset, you know. But I think also his team was very unfair by not stopping it in the first round, you know, because he got hurt and he wanted to carry on. So uh, I had fun, I, it was a fun event. This is the first of many. Uh, this is gonna be, we're starting a whole league of celebrity boxing. Uh, we also wanna put so much money and focus into boxing South Africa as a whole. Shout out to all the boxers who are in this motherfucker. Uh, we believe in boxing, we love boxing, and that's what it's about. The reason why I picked Slick Talk today is because I'm really, really anti all the cyber bullying bullshit, you know what I mean? And I felt like someone had to take punishment for all the bullshit that they say on the internet. So you got hurt not only because of you, but because of everybody else. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say. Did you have some combinations that you worked on that you wanted to? Uh, me and my coach were working on uh, two combinations. We had a double jab and an over right. And once it worked and he stepped back, I saw that it hurt him. And I just kept on throwing two jabs and throw my right over. And then after that, I was just toying with him. I knew I wasn't punishing his stomach. He wasn't feeling anything. So, <laughs> so I had to go on top. And uh, yeah, so the combinations was just throwing two jabs, always leading with the jab and just throwing the over right. Kasper, uh, 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 I've got to ask you this. Now, you are one of the best performing uh, 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 artists in the country, and I mean, probably, arguably, even internationally. Um, what, what do you think is the future of this exhibition, boxing, and you, obviously, we know you love boxing. My top three fights that I want, number one is Prince KB. Number two, is obviously AKA number three is not music. I see he's in the crowd. That's what I want to see next. We're gonna, we gonna just bring not music into the ring. Not music, please come to the ring. And uh, not music. Uh, we saw you. You were outside the ring and obviously screaming and. Um, enjoying the fight. Now you've heard what Kasper says. Kasper, um, he's talking the talk, you know, he's walking the talk, and uh, you could see how explosive he is. He calls himself Iron Mike. What, do you think you stand a chance against him? I think it was a decent fight. I think it was okay. I think out of the top three he mentioned, he should not have mentioned me last. He should have started with me. I want to say it here in front of everyone. I want to say it here in front of everyone. On the 8th of April, I'm setting a date even. On the 8th of April, I want to fight Casper at the Super Bowl in Sun City. Wow! Wow, there we have it. Rudy van der Vestes and, and, and TV.
Muilua, wherever you are, you hear what's happening. Kasper, your right of reply. It's going to be the whole fucking weekend. 8th of April. Let's everyone get to Sun City. Book your shit now. 8th of April. We're fighting at the Super Bowl. Me and Kasper. Let's do it. Everyone, tweet about this shit now. You just said? Yeah, let's go. You know, the reason why I didn't mention him first, not because I didn't get any problems. Wow, this gets better. This gets better. Um, now, not you said April, and let's see this happening. And I'm sure everybody out there, the fans out here, everybody watching on YouTube, all your followers, Slick Talk, um, uh, your followers, Casper, are all looking forward to this big one. Before I go, I have to do this. You know, every time we shine, we forget our teams. Shout out to the guy who taught me boxing, Spear, who's in the crowd. That's the first guy who took me at Fight Club like two years ago or something. And everybody was laughing at me, but he took me serious. Uh, there's a guy called Latin Kois who's still active right now. Yeah, Black Cat. That's one of my uh, trainers. Shout out to Seiko. Uh, Motele was in the crowd. Those are the three guys that taught me boxing and that made me the boxer I am today. A big shout out to a guy called Future Bongs. Uh, Rudy for uh, allowing me into his gym. I don't know who else. Everybody who was sparring me in Durban. Uh, uh, Sugar Boy's uncle, I forgot, Malume. What's his name? Kolani. Yeah, yeah, who used to take me. And everybody at the gym, thank you so much. Sparks. Everybody who used to spar with me. Ah, uh, man, so many people. Uh, we have to cut, we have to cut. Shout out to just, just, just before you speak. I think everyone that taught Casper how to box is going to have to teach him a little bit more. Okay, uh, Nard, Nard, come back. Come back here. Um, now, Casper, I just want to call in, I just want to go call in somebody, Dingan, the Rose of Soweto. Tobela, into the ring. Dingan, please come into the ring. A former world champion, Dingan Tobela. And <laughs> not the same hairstyle. <laughs> uh, Dingan, uh, what did you think about the fight? I mean, Kasper. Yeah, it was a good fight, and I think he has put on a good combination. You know, I'm impressed, and I'm looking forward to see him getting into the next one. Um, you know, all for you. We need support, Kasper. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, the next fight is not only me. We need to have a lot of more professional boxers who are going to be before us. So shout out to all the boxers. I'm going to make sure we see all the fights. Everybody wants to see. I see uh, the big man is in the building. He was rapping me. Fuck, how can I forget his name? No man, fuck. He rapped me today, fuck. That's the big dog. I actually trained at his gym, man. I am sorry. I took a few punches. I'm joking. I didn't take any punches. Uh, so we're going to have a lot more professional boxers who are going to be part of this thing because the whole aim is to push boxing South Africa to go back to where it used to be. Shout out to everybody. Good night, everybody. I sound like I'm the host, but I'm not. Shout out to Piliato, Root of Fame, Drip, who are the sponsors. Bridge, Vertex, Easy. Thank you very much, and thank you, and uh, we thank Fight Club, uh, Bridge, Root of Fame, Piliato, Rudy van der Vesteisen. Are you here, Rudy? Please Come to the ring, Rudy, and uh, Slick Talk, of course. Let's give me a big round of applause. What a fight, what a fight. Big Zulu also in the house, Big Zulu. Let's give me a big round of applause, Big Zulu. Ladies and gentlemen, Rudy from the best days and And those of you...